and welcome back to Roulette's Play Corpse Party. Now I know what you're thinking. Why the fuck are you on Yuka and Yuka only? Where'd bro 2.0 go? Well, my inquisitive high roller. I was chit-chatting with one of you guys in the comments, Shavamara. And it turns out that if I had left the caramel scented beads on Yuka then I would have survived the bathroom just fine. Or something would have happened, I don't know. But, as you know, I'm a completionist, both for my sake and for your sake. So I went through, played all the way up to the scene again without the caramel beads on Satoshi, and now we're here at the part where I can hide in the bathroom. So let's find out what happens. Whee! There goes Morishige past, and then da da la la la. Ghost girl, ghost girl, girl, ghost, 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 ghost. Okay, let's see. Will the door open with it? Nope. So I'm assuming she tries to touch me, and the caramel does something. Maybe not. No, this seems the exact same. Oh, no. Nope, nope, nope. Something different. Something different. She has me cornered with the Caesars. The spirit of the little girl was staring back at Yuka with one very focused eyes and one empty socket that radiated a profound darkness. She held in her hand a pair of scissors and was opening and closing it endlessly, echoing a chill-inducing shing, shing throughout the room. <laughs> the scented beads fell from Yuka's pocket, hitting the ground with a dull clack. It's your eye, I swear. Hey, does she no longer have to pee? <laughs> Finally. I don't know if that was a good noise or a bad noise. <laughs> um... <laughs> okay. Guess I'll just... <laughs> <laughs> She's like, okay, no more to shake it, no ghost. Okay, and I guess we just continue on our way at this point. Yep, okay, everything seems to be the same from here. So now you guys have seen the little scene that happens if the ghost girl catches you. Uh, and, uh, you... Wait, does that mean the ghost girl's not gonna be out here? Nope! Still out there! Okay. <laughs> Alright. So, let's go ahead and restore our original plan. Which is the vanilla is on Satoshi. And we're back. Okay, so another thing that uh, I chit-chatted with you guys with in the comments was apparently ghosts are scared of him. The dude. And there will be no ghost girl here. So, we can get back to building A. What's that noise? Hmm. We can get back to building A. And there was another fallen cabinet that I recalled being around here. Yep. That he can push. Uh, <coughs> well, that's not actually helpful. Whoa! Oh! 
It filled in the gap. Neat! Alright, so I thought we were supposed to cross the green goo, but now I'm not entirely sure. I want to find out what else there is, so let's keep exploring, shall we? So this leads towards the um, classroom, right? That has the... There's a skeletal corpse of bleach white bones sprawled across the floor here. Lying atop what remains of his clothes is a student ID name tag. Misato Municipal Brotherhood Senior High School Class 2-4 Akihiko Kagurazaka Let's see how he died Suffered severe injury to the abdomen Bled out He didn't tell us what school he came from, did he? This dude Holy shit, a lot of bodies Okay, well let's look at all the bodies Based on the size, this appears to be the corpse of a middle schooler There's a student ID name tag Hakuro, number three, junior high school, class three five, Yuki Suruta. Starved to death while searching for her little sister. Oh, Starved to death while searching for her friends. They're the remains of a very tall individual, lying atop what remains of his clothes, the student ID name tag. Misato, municipal brother, senior high school, class two four, Hato Sudo. I go to mouthful high. Took blow to the head for friend. Skull split open. Hmm. So he got taken out by the hammer time. It would seem. Oh, it's the static. On the janitor thing. Oh, shit. This person looks pretty fresh. These are the remains of a female student who clearly suffered a blow to the head. Her skull is cracked open and there's dried blood everywhere. Her broken glasses as well as a student ID name tag are resting next to her mangled corpse. Bayakudan, senior high school, class 24, Emi Urabi. Now I'm thinking she was the one that was in the intro. Not the other one. <laughs> I'm not doing that great a job keeping track of people, am I? Skull cracked open with a blunt instrument. She too met some, uh... Hammer time. Did she leave a note or anything? Nope. Okay. Custodian closet. The door's fixed like a decoration. Won't open. There's TV static coming from inside. Okay, so that hasn't changed. Hmm, what else we got around here? This should lead to that really long classroom. Ooh, how do I get to that? Huh. Can he maybe move this over there? There's a picture of four dead children here. Hmm, he doesn't seem affected by it. Um, since I had to replay, something kind of uh, stood out to me. That his hairdo is kind of the same as the hammer dude's hairdo. Uh, so I thought maybe he'd see that and be like, oh... My little sister is one of these dead people, and then turns out he's a ghost or something? But I guess that's wrong. Because <laughs> he didn't seem to give a fuck about the pictures of those dead people, so... It's just hashtag anime things, I guess. Lots of very similar hairdos in animes. If it's not completely outrageous, it's probably similar. Alright, well I think I checked everywhere that way. I can't think of any other knocked over cabinets that he could do anything with or for. So let me go back to my original plan, which is to go back into wing two and try and cross the green goo. Um, so am I automatically wearing the shoes or... I guess so. There's something sparkling on the ground. Pick it up. Acquired crystal of unsealing. What's that, yuka -chan? Oh, that reminds me. Now that you guys can see his name right here. Kazami, right? Earlier when we played, there was a voice of a character on the stairs, like a ghost, who said, Kazami, naze, or something similar. You know, why, Kazami, why? Uh, which I had thought Kazami was a girl's name, so it didn't click that this character's name was Kazami. So he's probably crazy, if nothing else.
急ごうかでもどこも使えなかった気もするけど Permanent records. The door is affixed to the wall like a decoration and won't open. Oh, crap. Am I supposed to unseal the bathroom door with this crystal releasing some hidden evil that might possess Kazami? And that's why he's evil, maybe? Ah,、uh, I don't want to make him evil. Can't we just. Find that fucking bucket? <clears throat> I'd really like her to just go in the bucket. You know what? I'll tell you what. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go see if she'll use the bucket. God damn it! She won't use the fucking bucket! It makes perfect sense, doesn't it? Ugh. Alright, let's go back to building two. All right, we're back. So let's go deal with the fact that Yuka's selfish inability to put past the embarrassment and relieve herself in a bucket or in a hole or in one of those urinals instead of an actual stall is going to cause us to unseal the ultimate evil and let Alma roam the entire school. The crystal of unsealing shattered. Protective charms attached to the door completely vanished. It's now opening with no difficulty whatsoever. Seems usable now. <laughs> yeah. Full of evil, but usable. Have fun, Yuka. You bitch. <laughs> Stop crying! It's a bathroom! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm losing patience with this character. <laughs> Yeah, that's what happened to your last brother. Ooh, this sounds like Satoshi, like his voice actor. Maybe not. Oh, no. Who the fuck are you? Kizami じゃないか Kurosaki. Hey! Your bro's alive! Are you gonna like kill him and throw him down a hole or anything?、Ah! Oh god, don't put your back to a hole! Don't put your back to a hole! Don't put your back to a hole! Put your back to a hole! Don't put your back to a hole! Don't put your face to a hole! Don't line up with a hole! 外に出ると迷ってこの校舎に戻ってくることすらできなるらしい。You're the same hair color, same eye color. Oh, so are we referencing Zelda? Oh, don't. ここはどこなんだよ。くそ。なんか人玉とかいるしよ。Don't line up with the hole. Okay. もう帰れないかもしれないな。Maybe. 俺たち。Maybe I'm on edge for no reason. Oh, he did know her. No, lined up with the hole again. メニスルシタイノカズガキマテルトスタラサモーレイショブンコエタカズノシタイミチマタキガスリオクソ You're probably gonna become one. Oh god. Every spider sense is tingling. キノソイツフッタカラアサカラゲンキナカタンダヨ Wow! だから俺授業中に面白メールいっぱい送ってやったんだそしたら休み時間にめちゃくちゃキレられてさでも次の授業の時に This is when we find out that、uh, Kisami here was her boyfriend 
「ありがとう」ってメールくれたんだよせっかく元気出してくれたのにあの子供の幽霊たちに殺されたのかな Nope. Oh my god. Okay. A knife. I didn't see that coming. Kizami? Oh my. Nani s u n d a y o <laughs> okay, he's just straight up normal crazy. <laughs> She can't hear that in the bathroom? <laughs> Push him down the hole. Go ahead. Push him down the hole. Yep! Fucking s u i t Oh, wait. So, where he lands, he lands in the other building? Maybe? <laughs> I can't remember. I thought it was a boy's voice that said it before. Yeah. Meanwhile, Yuka's peeing so loud she doesn't hear any of that? <gasps> hey, Satoshi! <laughs> I swear, that sounds like the same voice actor we just heard doing the voice of Kurosaki. Where are you indeed? Are you in the. Oh, you're in the teacher's room, right? So, Kazami knocked him out and stuffed him in the teacher room, maybe? Yuka! Yuka! Where are you? Oh. It's half hazardly crammed. Bursting with crumpled up documents, newspaper clippings, and scrap paper. School scandals continue. Principal question on liability. A cursed school? The many grisly happenings at Heavenly Host. School nurse reported missing. Hmm. There's a plaque inside the case commemorating the school's establishment. It's covered in bloody handprints as if someone was frantically caressing it. Ooh. Guess I don't care about the heating, the heater. Oh, that's a lot of dead bodies. Heavenly House Elementary School closure date. Okay. Inventory of incoming students Ujima Elementary, 21 boys. Hinomoto Elementary, 10 girls. Caring Village Montessori, 13 boys. Oisho West Elementary, 18 girls. A more gardens academy, six girls. Hmm. None of this could be red. The big ass room, huh? Oh, victim memoirs. Okay, um, how do I get past to check that body, though? I'd like to check that body. Can I move this chair, maybe? Nope. Okay, well, you guys were wondering if I still had access to the, the victim memoirs. The answer is yes. Yes, I do. Oh, there's a purple stone thing over there. Ay. Bloodstained cassette on the floor. It seems to be from a digital camera. Sure. Acquired a mini DV tape. The label reads Kibiki Research Data 2005. November 19th. What? Strange but true stories of the occult. Chasing down the hidden past of the cursed school building. It really exists. By Ko Kibiki. Give it a look. Sure. 
日の間に立て続けに町内で多数発生していた連続児童失踪事件は警察機構の入念の捜査の末最悪の形で解決へと向かう天神小学校の開校当初から閉鎖されていた地下室で行方不明になっていた児童3名の亡骸と殺害される直前だったのか怯えた様子で座り込む女児1名そして血まみれのハサミを手に放心している同校の教員1名が発見された救出された女児の証言から追及は進み男は女児を含む4名の児童の誘拐と殺害を認めたため未成年者回収殺害及び死体損壊などの罪で送検されるも刑事裁判にて心神喪失が認定され無罪医療施設に放り込まれたこの犯人の局の男は同校教師で校長の子息であり生来快活な性質であった起因する要素が全く不明の突発性の脳障害から年々教員として弁を振るうことが困難になっていた事件の数ヶ月前より別の就職先を探す日々を続けていたが結果は芳しくなく日中町内を所在投げにふらふらと歩いているところを何度も目撃されていたようだ男は入所後数ヶ月で看護医たちの隙をついて療養施設から脱走先人小学校の地下室に入り込み首をつって自殺したこの事件で殺された児童たちはほとんどが天神症の生徒たちだったが。So let me get this right. This guy goes crazy, kills multiple children. One survives and says that he's the culprit, right? But this guy also can't speak and defend himself at all, say whether he did or didn't do it. Hmm. He could also be a scapegoat. 犯人逮捕時に住んでのところで救出された女児は。天神症の生徒ではなく事件後他県に移っていったとされている悪い噂の立ってしまった天神小学校の不運はその後も収まらず忍び込んだ変質者による強姦事件や自殺の舞台として利用されたため、oh、my God. 生徒数が大幅に減りついには廃校に追い込まれた。Great, but isn't this like a very, very small child? Like school? Like kindergarten to third grade kind of? Jesus Christ. 当時60歳になっていた校長は、自らの屋敷の襖や壁、畳などに、意味不明の文字の羅列を書き殴るなど、気候が目立っていたが、廃校決定のその翌日、天神症の屋根から飛び降りて自殺してしまった。首の骨を折り、即死だったようだ。賛美極まる事件である。私はこの一連の事件の陰に、人知を超えた力の動き、うん、巨大なる呪詛の側面を見ている。鍵を握る人物はやはり、現場で、同い年の子供たちが惨殺されるのを目撃してしまった不幸なる生存者事件を生き残った赤い服の少女アルマ Wait, why is アルマ haunting here in little girl form then? 怪奇事件ルポライターの私が機会をいただいた本誌での連載は始まったばかりこのまま追跡取材を進めてみたいと思う続報に期待していてほしいうこの事件一人女の子が助かっていたのかしかもこの写真さっき見かけた赤い服を着た女の子の幽霊じゃないか so... どうして殺されなかった子まで一緒にここに幽霊となって存在しているんだ yeah, exactly 
Heavenly House Bulletin. An individual unaffiliated with the school broke into the building last night and killed himself. This is the third such incident. The deceased was a 72-year-old single male from a neighboring prefecture. Hmm. So this place draws people to kill themselves to it also. Huh. Well... I guess we should go ahead and read this, right? Knock that out. Find out what the bad ending is. Here we go. Looks like I'll be dying soon, so I'm going to try to keep my finger steady just this one last time. The bleeding never stopped, and I'm getting colder and colder. I can barely see. In the end, we never did find one another here, and unless you magically pop out of the shadows real soon, we never will. Mitsuharu, I've always idolized you. You constantly surpassed me in every way, always one step ahead no matter what we were doing. I kept telling myself that at some point, I'd turn a corner and you'd be there. But I knew better. My brain knew better. My brain rejected that notion from the beginning. If I should dream in death, though, then I know I'm going to see you when I turn this next corner, like I've been praying for all this time. We can beat up on each other like we used to. And I'll never have to be alone again. <coughs> A wave of nausea and unbearable despair suddenly washed over Satoshi's entire body. The next thing he knew, he was standing in the corner of an extremely narrow red room. Huh? Red room? His movements weren't his own. It was as if his mind were disconnected from his body, with no perception of surface or gravity or motion. After a sudden dip jarred his senses, he realized he was moving purely on nerve impulses, with no direction or control, like zombies. Perhaps he'd been taken in by the curse by the wave of negativity that permeated the space far beyond the spectrum of human understanding. His shell of a body might as well have been a twig skipping across the ground in a windstorm. Without warning, his very sense of self had been completely destroyed, leaving him in a virtually lobotomized state. It seems the remnants of a man's tormented soul are indeed a thing best left untouched. For this dying message, and the curse it carried, certainly had no trouble at all dismantling the essence of what was once a boy named Satoshi. And so he was just cursed to forever wander the halls like a zombie. Ba 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 ba. Okay. Got that unlocked. Go ahead and update, and I think that means that I now have all the bad endings. I'll go ahead and do a real quick check. Yep, okay, so now all I need is the actual ending to the chapter. Yay, actual ending to the chapter. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and skip all the repetition here. And we're back. Okay, so I already reread everything in this room, so any data that he had before, he has again now. Oh, what the fuck, hi. それ you know, she looks like a living human being despite being a ghost. So there's no reason why Kazami couldn't possibly be a ghost that looks like a living human being.
あなた方がこの学校に閉じ込められたのは幸せの幸子さんを行って失敗したからです Oh, we did. We fucked it up somehow. I had a feeling that was why we were in here. Somebody didn't say the words enough, or somebody didn't hold the paper right, or didn't say it at all because they didn't believe in it. I have a feeling it's all Yuka's fault. She's the one that's immature and tries to act like a little kid. She probably didn't count correctly. <gasps> Such a silly thing to fuck up. Oh no, he's the one that fucked up. Okay. Maybe when she was like, you guys said this, right? And then she repeats the exact phrase while she's holding it. Maybe that messed it up. Oh, I would totally place blame. Be like, it's your fucking fault! <laughs> if anything, it's Ayumi's fucking fault for getting into this occult bullshit! <laughs> See, and this is why I won't fucking mess with Ouija boards. People have pulled them out before and been like, Hey, let's do a Ouija board. I'm like, uh-uh. Nah. Uh-uh. I don't care if it's real or not real. I don't care any of that superstitious stuff, yay or nay. I'm just not going to do anything that could be potentially stupid. Because I'm not going to be ignorant enough to say just because I haven't seen it doesn't mean it doesn't fucking exist, and therefore I should fuck with it. <laughs> this is just my view, right? Okay. <laughs> don't have to share my view you don't have to see it as reasonable or anything i just like to cover my bases i'm not gonna go investigate a strange noise i'm not gonna fuck with the ouija board i'm not gonna go visit a fucking serial killer's house <laughs> these are just are we gonna go into a graveyard past midnight on halloween or laugh as a hearse goes by it's superstitious shit but you know might as well be safe, right? <laughs> There's nothing to gain from doing it anyways, right? Oh, you're a big man who, you know, who played with the Ouija boy. <laughs> who gives a fuck if you did or didn't do it? <laughs> I'd rather cover my own damn ass. I want to play more and I want to play more easily. I want to わざとでなくてもいい加減な性質の人なら失敗しても考えそうですわねまあいいやバレないってこんな恐ろしい出来事に発展するとも知らずに誰も申告しなかったでしょ<笑> Yep, hilarious. In his defense, he hasn't seen any of his friends except fucking Yuka. So, well, no, Murashige. But he still hasn't seen... Of the nine people, he's only been in contact with himself and two others, so... It's only 33% coverage. <laughs> あなたはまだ持っているようですね。お前。それをしっかり手に握って思ってみてください。あなたの大事な人たちのこと。
そのすまない俺急いでるんだ See, if I was in this situation, you see that little like safety pin that's on his shirt? I would use that to pin the piece of paper like to myself on like the inside of my shirt, right against my chest, where I could feel it as I move, so I would always know that it's there. And that way it's like protected from a lot of shit. <laughs>心をかき乱す衝動それでいいのです Splend Man's Hook. What about Slender Man's Hook? What? <laughs> She's undoing it now? Nope. Yes. Yes. The music here is fantastic. You gonna teleport my ass? Oh, continued in chapter four. Oh, well, that was a sudden ending. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give me that thumbs up if you did. Let me know how many of you who hadn't seen it before, that's important, okay? Who hasn't seen this before and doesn't know the answer, thought that Kazami was evil or had something, you know, a little, little, little spooky going on with him. Also, let me know what you think about Alma. I don't know what her real name is. Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, so let me know what you think of Alma, possibly a.k.a. Sachan, in the comments. Because I love hearing your theories, too. And spitballing and theory crafting and stuff. Thanks for all your support. I really appreciate it. All right. Bye, bye, bye. Uh. Oh, go away. Please go. <laughs>